Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we're in Mississippi County, Arkansas, traveling south on US Highway 61, as well as the Great River Road. We begin at mile 68 near a junction with Arkansas Highway 312. Throughout this video, we'll be on a two-lane undivided highway with the exception of a short stretch in a town towards the end of this video. We'll be running parallel to the BNSF Railway throughout most of this video, and you'll see a couple of freight trains along the way. This section of US 61 has been designated America's Music Highway. To the right, we see the eastern terminus of one of three Arkansas State Highway 148s. Although they share the same number, the three highways don't seem to have any kind of relation to each other. We enter the small city of Luxora, which sounds like this awful powdered cream that people used to put in their coffee back in the 1980s. Luxora had a population of 942 as of the 2020 census. The city lies at a junction with Arkansas Highway 158, which turns to the south and serves as the town's main street before turning west and crossing US 61 again. Highway 158 is another state highway that exists in two unrelated places with no obvious connection between the two highways.
On the left is State Highway 140, which, like the others we've seen in this video, exists in two separate sections, but we'll see both of those sections in this video. This section here runs parallel to US 61 down into Osceola and terminates within the city. We'll see where it picks back up to head west as we're leaving Osceola. The two sections were likely one continuous route at one time. We enter the city of Osceola, which had a population of 6,576 as of the 2020 census. The original settlement was founded in 1837 at a strategic point on the Mississippi River. The city's economy grew as steamboat traffic increased. Osceola was incorporated as a city in 1853. The economy was originally based on timber and cotton harvesting, but has since diversified to include a robust industrial sector. Osceola is another county seat of Mississippi County, as the county is divided into two judicial districts. Osceola is famous for its role in the development of blues music, and many famous blues musicians either came from Osceola or performed there. To celebrate this heritage, Main Street Osceola has been hosting the Osceola Heritage Festival since 1998. Visible ahead on the left is the copper-clad dome of the county courthouse, which anchors the town square. The 1912 neoclassical courthouse originally housed the county jail on the ground floor, therefore there are no windows on the first floor, and a grand staircase ascends to the second floor entrance. On the right is a relic of the past. The Lewis George Motor Company claimed to be Mississippi County's oldest car dealership opened in 1938 and as of July 2021 it still had a Chrysler Plymouth Dodge sign hanging on the outside of the building, even though the Plymouth make ceased to exist in 2001. During a restructuring by Chrysler in 2009, George lost his dealership status and switched to selling used and classic cars, transforming the showroom into a vintage automobile experience. In my research, however, it looks like the contents of the dealership were sold at auction in March of 2022, so perhaps the Lewis George Motor Company didn't survive the pandemic. Here we've turned right onto West Kaiser Avenue. The roadway temporarily widens to four lanes with a center turn lane here. We turn south again here, and ahead we see Arkansas Highway 140 once again.
We conclude today's video here at approximately mile 53. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.